Hi, this is Matt Rechenberg, CEO of OpenCurem Enterprise. We are the service and support company behind the OpenCurem Data Center Management and Cloud Computing Platform. Today I would like to introduce to you some new awesome features we have developed for OpenCurem Cloud. We have named it OpenCurem Enterprise Cloud Zones and it's the layer on top of your OpenCurem Cloud infrastructure. Similar to Amazon's availability zones, OpenCurem Enterprise Cloud Zones has the capability to manage multiple OpenCurem servers by separating them into different zones. The central OpenCurem Enterprise Cloud Zones portal allows to easily switch from one zone to another. Here for example I'm switching to our development zone to show you how simple it is to request a new system from a specific zone. Custom defined profiles help the user to choose the correct system type for their request. After selecting the template, the user can configure its applications and the IP address for the external access. The system details provides a detailed overview about the system components, for example the server type. Here I set the requirement to keep the system high available. Submitting the request now automatically provisions the system within the zone. So how does OpenCurem Enterprise Cloud Zones work? Let's assume you have three different data center locations. Then each location is managed by a private or public OpenCRM cloud. As a central point of management, OpenCRM Enterprise Cloud Zones sits on top of your OpenCRM clouds and manage them via their well-defined SOAP API. Next I would like to show you how easy it is to set up OpenCRM Enterprise Cloud Zones. Here a fresh installed OpenCRM server we will use as a client for our Cloud Zones master. According to our requirements and preferences, we have enabled several plugins in this OpenCurem server. The cloud plugin on this system is pre-configured, but no users nor user groups are existing yet. We are now configuring the cloud on this OpenCurem server to be an OpenCurem Enterprise Cloud Zones client. We just need to provide the Cloud Zones master IP address and the external IP address of the OpenCurem server. The only thing more to configure are the cloud products offered by this zone. CPUs, disk space, high availability, operating systems, memory, network and the resource type are already set up on this system. We are now switching to our OpenCRM Enterprise Cloud Zone Master to create the new zone from our pre-configured OpenCRM Cloud Server. This is the main Cloud Zone configuration and here we are in the Admin Cloud Zone Overview. Now we create the new zone in the Management Interface. It should be dedicated to our Performance Team for testing, so let's name it Performance. I am now filling in the data and credentials for our pre-configured OpenCRM server we want to add as a new zone. Especially the location data is used by the pluggable Google Maps integration to directly transfer the user to the specific zone location. You can also set zone and purpose specific shortcuts which are then used to automatically generate host names for the requested systems. Our new performance cloud zone is now set up and ready to use. Now quickly switching back to our OpenCRM server. It automatically has synced all Cloud Zones users and groups from the Cloud Zones master. I am now assigning the resource pool by mapping physical systems and virtualization hosts to Cloud Zones user groups. Now I am logging into the OpenCRM Enterprise Cloud Zones portal. By the way, also integrated to support a central user management, for example, via LDAP. 
Login directly transfers me to the zone's overview, where I can always see where my systems and data are located. Switching to another zone is way easy by clicking on one of the cloud icons. Open Cure Enterprise Cloud Zones is multilingual and comes with English, French, German, Italian, Netherlands and Spanish language support. In each zone I can get an overview about my requests and systems. The system section provides an option to directly log in to my systems with a web browser. Now let's switch to our new created performance cloud zone and request a new system. Uh, big one. On this OpenQM cloud, we have also created templates to provision physical servers for our performance team, so we could for example request another cloud system such as Eucalyptus, OpenStack, the Ubuntu Enterprise Cloud or OpenNebula. Let's stay with an Ubuntu template. Next is to set the applications and IP addresses for this system. It should be a web server and it should get the next free IP address from my pool. In the components details we can set further configuration items such as the system type. Ah, uh, yes, my system of course should be high available. Unlike most other pure cloud products, OpenQM supports deployment of virtual machines and physical systems as well. Plus OpenQM has high availability built in in its architecture. The system is requested and OpenQM Cloud Zones is now deploying it in the specific cloud zone and will send me a mail as soon as it is up and running. In the account section I can manage my own credentials and also check about my credits and permissions. The Cloud Zones administrator can set different permissions and resource pools on each cloud zone. Here the overview about all cloud zones details and status. Next is the transaction view, which provides all information about which components have been charged from which zone. If enabled in the OpenQM Enterprise Cloud Zones configuration, users can also get direct access to the specific OpenQM Cloud portal of each zone. Here for example, I'm using the famous OpenQM Visual Cloud Designer to create a new system profile by drag and drop. Okay. 
OpenQRM's Visual Infrastructure Designer provides a nice overview about the deployed systems. On the upper left corner our new system we just requested a few minutes ago. Let's put it in place. And also let's deploy our just created MyEucalyptus cloud profile to our existing infrastructure and connect it with the network icon. Many thanks for your attention. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please contact us for more information.